Okay, so we're making great progress here. Uh, the next thing we want to do is evaluate, evaluate what the user clicks on. Uh, the song is playing, they're going to choose an album cover, and we want to uh, evaluate the click. Is it the song that's currently selected? If yes, then we want to award them points and we want to uh, display a correct symbol in place of that album art. However, if it's not correct, we want to deduct points from their score and then display the incorrect icon. These icons are available for uh, the download that is associated with this video. So wherever you typically download the source code from, those two files, the correct and incorrect PNGs, will be there as well. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here, and we're going to evaluate whatever the user clicked on. Um, and we know that will happen here in the song grid view item click event. So uh, the first thing we'll want to do is um, we're, we're going to ignore clicks when the music isn't playing, when the music or we're in cooldown when we are in cooldown. Okay, so if not playing music, then just uh, return. Just this isn't the right time to be clicking on this part of the part of the uh, the application's user, user interface. However, if we are currently playing music, then we want the current animation. To, to pause for a moment. So pause the playback of the countdown animation. And as far as the music is concerned, my media element, we're going to stop the playback of the music. Okay, so that should fix that problem. Next up, we want to determine what was actually clicked on. So we're going to go bar song equals uh, the clicked item in the grid, and we'll cast that to an instance of song. All right. And now we want to uh, find what the correct song was. So what did we pick randomly before we started this round? Well, uh, here we want to actually get access to um, the correct song. So first or default, where selected equals true. Okay, and now we want to uh, evaluate. So if the the uh, the, the song, uh, you know what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to compare apples to apples. I'm afraid. Well, maybe not. Uh, Hmm, that's going to be a pickle. We'll see if it works. If the song, in fact, just to kind of get this square in my mind, uh, clicked song. All right, so if the click song, yeah, I should, may not even have to do any of this, honestly. Uh, so if click song dot selected, then what we want to do is. Um, Set the clicked song dot album cover dot set source async, and we're going to need a file stream here. Uh, so I should be able to just do what I did earlier with await dot file dot open async. Why can't I do that? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Let me start over. Let me get a uh, get a reference to the, to the uh, the correct URI. So um, let's go bar URI equals uh, a new URI, and we'll need to get at the correct PNG. So let me just copy these into my assets folder. Make sure I do that first of all. Assets. All right, great. So back here. Sorry for the indecision. Just this is the nature of how this sort of thing goes. So ms dash appx colon triple forward slash assets 
slash correct dot png. All right, so we got that. And then what I want to do is, um, well, let's get that file. So um, storage file file equals storage file dot get file from application async URI async and I'm gonna give it the URI. So that should give me a reference to that file in the file system. Uh, so var file file stream equals file dot open async uh, access mode read like that and then what I want to do is click song dot album cover dot set source async to that file stream like that Alright, so I've got lots of problems here. <laughs> uh, first problem I think I have here is that I've got an async and I need to do this. So await that and then we'll have to add async here. Great. And then set source async. Why are you not happy? Oh, we got to await you as well. Great. And what's the problem here? Ah, okay. It's actually that problem. There we go. Nice. And this should be actually be selected. If the click song is selected, then we want to change that. But um, otherwise, we want to do the reverse. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do this where I see an opportunity to kind of consolidate that into fewer lines of code. But for right now, I'm just going to copy and paste just to see if the logic and the selections of, of what I'm working with here will actually work. So let's try it. My concern is that we're going to lose our connection to what we're binding to. So when we click it, well, here, hold on. When we click it, we're only clicking a copy of the object, not part of the collection that we've bound to. It'll make sense here in a moment. Okay, that was an odd coincidence, but we'll go with it. Okay, so you can see I think we got to work in. Now, I'm not entirely sure. We're going to have to um, do some more work here. But uh, let me get rid of all of that. And I think what I want to do here is URI, URI, like that. And then all we'll do is just grab off the URI like so. And then we'll do this like so. Get rid of that. Great. Okay, and that should work still. See how I was able to consolidate all that? All right, and then uh, what? the other thing I need is a score. So um, let's go ahead and go int uh, total score. set it equal to zero initially and what we want to do is um, go back to where we were yeah here and I want to grab a, the score here so let's go score equals my progress bar dot value and I'm just gonna Make sure that it's an int. So that's, if we get it right, I want a positive score. But if we get it wrong, what I'm going to do is kind of the opposite. So score equals pro, um, my progress bar dot value. 
and let's go ahead and do this like so. And uh, I'm going to subtract points if you get it wrong. Oh, actually, multiply that times minus one. Okay. Now, this might not be the most fair scoring system, but it's just going to illustrate how I'm going to go about this. We can always fix this later. So we're going to set total score plus equals whatever the score was from that right there. Great. All right, and I think also while we're here, what I want to do is set some things about. Um, so the result text block dot text equals string dot format uh, score. Total score after okay. So here, what I want to do is show first of all the score, then I want to sh uh, show the round, and then I want to show the total score like that. Alright, so then let's go title text block dot text equals string dot format. And uh, oh, you know what we need to do? So here's what I want to do is correct song. Uh, but we've only determined whether our song is correct or incorrect, not whether it's which one is the correct one. So let me do this for our correct song equals let's get all of our songs first or default where selected equals true so that should give me the correct song and now I can do something like this correct song dot um, title right and then the artist text block dot text equals string dot format performed by correct song dot artist and then album text block dot text equals string dot format on album and then correct song album okay now what I want to do is whenever we um, that's when we start the cooldown we'll see that but when we restart prepare the next round how do where do I do that at I want to clear all that out populate song list pick random songs and my my code is honestly unwieldy I should be splitting this up in other classes and things like that but I'm not going to do that just yet Okay, I'll worry about that part later. I gotta think about that a little bit more when we're gonna reset that. Um, okay, but at any rate, I need to set the state of these songs because now we're kind of done working with them. So uh, the click song, I should be able to set its uh, used property equal to true, and then I should be able to set the correct song. Uh, the selected is now false and then I want to make sure that we don't reuse it because it's already been clicked on and that means it has either a check mark or an X and so the album cover won't be visible anymore so we want to make sure that it's been used and we don't accidentally choose it again all right so um, finally what I want to do here is do a check. I'm only going to run this five times. So if the round 
is greater than or equal to 5, then I'm going to do uh, some end game cleanup. Otherwise, if it's not, then I want to start the cooldown process again. Here, what I'm going to do is set um, the instruction text block dot text equals string dot format, and I'm going to say game over, you scored, and then put the total score in there. Total score. And then the play again buttons visibility. I'm going to set that equal to visible. Okay, so we'll show that. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and now see what we get ourselves here. But you can see I scored minus 60, Catch Me When I Fall, Storm Coming, so it was off that album. And I don't know any of these songs, <laughs> they're all made up. So uh, that should have been Humble and Proud, should have been off that album. So these two should not be selected in the future. I got one right. That was Brian Plays a Hot Guitar, Inclement Weather on the Longhorn album. Great. All right, got that one wrong too. right so I played five rounds I scored negative 50 and I can play again now this doesn't do anything but we'll have to uh, we'll have to come back to that then in the next in the next video so I think that's all I really wanted to cover in this video let's go ahead and stop it here and then I can regroup and figure out where we go from here